Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent Axe Tech, and we're looking at a 3D printed S9 shell in minified form from Decentral. I'll make sure to link these guys down in the description below, but this is actually the Bit Axe, and Christmas came a little bit early as we get ready for the holidays. And this Bit Axe is powered by the same ASIC chip found in the S19 XP, the 1366 chip. You can see on here, they gave us, uh, obviously we can connect to our device once we connect it to our internet or our LAN connection. They give us a pull address and say, scan the, uh, the blue uh, tube controller uh, or the QR code to download the app. So we can talk to this device inside this unit. There's our little barrel plug. We do have a five volt, four amp um, power adapter which is a 2.5 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter barrel plug, just for you uh, people that needed that information. And that is where we would plug that in. Of course, this thing is Wi-Fi capable and a number of very intelligent personnel have been talking about the BitAx online. Make sure you follow them on Twitter. I'm keeping an eye on them. And they've been pushing these BitAxes to that most limit. Now this LCD screen we're used to seeing uh, we see it on our Elmore Labs uh, device to where we can see our power draw for our CPU or GPU. And it doesn't look like the bit axe is mounted in there. It's on standoffs, but it's like not mounted stationary or, or flat. So I wouldn't go jiggling this uh, particular device around. Uh, and if you wanted to take a look inside, these little cool 3D printed fans come off. This whole entire shell is 3D printed. Uh, I saw this on the central. Uh, not sure the material they're using, but it looks really good, really well done. And again, I'll just have them linked down in the description. But we just need to pull the fans off. Let me do that and take a look inside. On the inside, uh, you know, because you, you can print this PCB, uh, like uh, Nerd Miner, Scott, and a couple other ones. And uh, users, you know, there's our power right here on the left hand side. So that's how we're providing power. Uh, we got a little connector here. You can see how this, this whole thing just slides out. I'll be very careful because there's a connector up top that's connecting to that little LCD uh, that will show us you know, our voltages and, and power and all that good stuff. But that is what we see on the left hand side and on the right hand side, uh, more the same. So our four pin, is that a four pin? No, that's three pin uh, DC power or, or fan header. And then here is our barrel plug. The gauge on that is actually pretty good. It's normal, normally probably what we see on GPUs, um, either 16, I'm pretty sure that's 16 gauge, uh, which is where the barrel plug terminates to. So this Benax, we're gonna get it up and running, but it's cool to see this nice little 3D printed device and the fans that, um, you know what? I wonder if we could find fans, real ones. Um, they're about this size that we could somehow mount to the front of this. Now, I probably didn't want to push too much air into it because we don't want the stock fan or the fan that's mounted in there on the inside to fight one another. Uh, but, you know, very interesting to see this device in action. We're gonna go ahead and get it booted up and get it connected and see what its hash rates are. And uh, big thank you to Decentral for helping us secure this device because uh, I know these things are pretty hot. These are basically lottery miners similar to what some people might use the you know future bit apollo or the usb miners from gecko science you know it's just a, a, a very slim but a chance at hitting a bitcoin block with such a small um, uh you know amount of hash rate however compared to the apollo btc miners and some of the uh previous options you know the bit axe is actually very efficient you can push these things pretty hard we've seen some of our colleagues in the space doing it and i would link to them down in the description but let me go uh, get this thing powered up and get it connected to the network uh, and see what we can do. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I didn't even realize the fake ethernet port on the front. We've got a green LED, fake control board and hash boards. They're just kind of chilling on there. They're not mounted to anything or anything like that, but really thought out design. You can see the fan in there spinning away and we could see the unit on the inside. Let me turn off the lights for you just so you can have a quick look at what this device looks like. Connect to SSID. So actually I misspoke. The QR code is for uh, a different app, but if we go to our Wi-Fi settings on our device, we can see the bit axe right here. So we're gonna tap and connect to that guy 
and manage it through our Wi-Fi settings on our mobile app or our mobile device. Um, however, uh, the app that the QR code has taken us to is dual code strip. And I believe that's more or less for RGB um, rather than managing the device. But we got that functionality in here as well. And once you connect to the SSID provided to you by the device on that little LCD screen on the side, you can do always connect. I only do connect only this time. Everyone's device is going to be a little bit different. For me and Samsung devices or Android devices, once I connect to that Wi-Fi, I'm just going to click on Manage Router, which is going to take me to the web page. And then here we can see the device settings model BM1366. Its Wi-Fi status has failed, the version number and what pool we're connected to, port number, and you can see that there's a wallet address in here, but it's not our wallet address. So we need to go to settings and then plug in our Wi-Fi settings accordingly. Uh, you want to just confirm uh, the pool that you're on, the port number, obviously change your Bitcoin address, and then you can even update the firmware as well. Wouldn't mess around with too much, but you can see we could also control the frequency and the voltage. So if you got good cooling, uh, you can push it a little bit, but just be careful and be mindful. But there's a lot of great community members out there that have been able to stretch this baby out and get it just that much further. So now we got our Wi-Fi information in there. We're going to stay on the same pool. We updated our wallet address, gave it a name as well. And when we hit save, it's going to say you must restart the device. Uh, for the changes to take effect, just like we normally would on any other ASIC. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm still connected to the device. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm not. So I need to make sure I stay connected to the right one, which I am not. So let me go ahead and switch back to BitAx. Once I connect, click on it, and then it's gonna pop up a window. Do we wanna stay connected uh, or connect anytime or just this one time? We're just gonna choose this one time. And once that loads up, we should be able to go back to the page, refresh it. There we go. Got a typo in my information here. And there we go, save. And now we can go ahead and click restart and switch over to the other camera for you. All right, so it looks like I have a typo because you can see it's trying to connect to my Wi-Fi and it's failed multiple times. So I have a typo somewhere in there. I need to fix that. Just make sure you type it in correctly. And another pro tip um, is back, you know, grab your Bitcoin wallet address because once you switch over to this miner, you're not going to have internet. Or once you switch and connect to this device, you're not going to have any internet. So go ahead and grab your Bitcoin address before you connect this to the device. And also the airflow coming out of this guy is pretty darn good from that downdraft uh, air cooler that's in this particular Bitax or device that Decentral has sent us. All right, it looks like we're actually getting connected now. And we're gonna to start to see our accepted and rejected shares. We got one accepted. We're gonna to start to see our hash rate and additional information on this particular device. And it's just a matter of monitoring it at the pool like you would do with any ASIC device or miner. And now through the app, I am also controlling the little LEDs that are in there at the very top that are strobing between various different colors. Very cool. Uh, the app does require you to accept permission, so if you're one of those concerned about privacy, uh, just take a look at the terms of service. But we can see the fan speeds at 82 RPM. Uh, we can see additional information like our V core, the IP assigned to it, the version number. This little device or LED is just going to go through all the different uh, metrics right we're at 524 is that giga hash and then 22 watts per tera hash that's pretty cool so something i can monitor um and again a huge thanks to decentral who helped uh procure this device i know a lot of people were interested in it and i know you can build your own you can actually uh get order the pcb get everything uh you know configured build your own power connector some people connect it to a server power supply uh, instead and you know get your own cooling solution so on and so forth but decentral make it nice and easy and simple for you to have this uh, tiny little package really it's no bigger than the palm of my hand uh, to uh, you know mine bitcoin and have your own little lottery miner join the the nerd so to speak is this isn't a nerd miner uh, but there's a lot of us uh, that nerd out on these type of 
uh, devices, smaller uh, at-home devices that people just go crazy uh, about. This is really uh, interesting. The Bit X always had my attention. The Central just gives it to you in a nice little neat package. Otherwise, you can go and build your own. If you're interested in buying one of these, I'll have it linked down in the description. But a huge thanks and shout out to them. Uh, thank you. You know, Christmas came early. I'm super stoked about it. And do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit the like button, get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.